You guys, well, you guys, being Podium Money, were have been critical in supporting our um, our launch of our inclusive range, which is our SDA range that we launched around, I think, October of um, last year, which is being headed up by um, Renee Martin, who's our social impact housing expert. Um, and one of the things that I know has been kind of like the top three questions of when we launched our inclusive range to our key sales partners was, what about lending? That, you know, there is this perception that funding an SDA investment property is difficult. But I know with you guys, you've got a team that's quite well experienced. Um, are there lenders that support this property type and are there options with regards to mortgages? There are. So we've, we've gone out and as you've touched on, we've got a team um, that, that have got experience in, in this field and we're active, always actively out there looking at, at different lenders and what they're offering and just to make sure that we've got market leading options for, for customers that are actively looking to invest in this, in this sector. Um, and whether that's um, for a construction or for a commercial or residential, we've got a panel of lenders that are, are there to assist those types of clients. And there's more than one way to skin the cat, as they say, right? So it really does mean that if somebody is looking at working with Gallery to secure an SDA investment with one of our inclusive range products, that they can never have the conversation early enough with you guys with regards to what that structure would look like. Yeah, we'd, we'd encourage to engage with us as soon as possible if, the, if it is something they're looking to consider. Because that may be, as I've touched on before, then having a discussion with that individual's tax advisor or accountant just to make sure that the structure is correct as well as, as a potential purchasing entity, just to make sure that there's the structure set up correctly. So should they want to transact and purchase the property or even get a pre-approval in place, that it's done in the correct, correct structure from day one. Okay, perfect. So I think probably some of the key factors is the conversations with your team can never be early enough. Um, we know that you've obviously got a team that have got expertise across homeowners, first homeowners, investors, SDA investors, um, and that your team can be giving them advice with regards to timing as to whether they're in a position to invest now, they need to undertake some cleanup or some budgeting and when that they can actually purchase. So the fact that somebody can't purchase today does not mean they're a hopeless case. No, absolutely not. And I think it, as I've sort of touched on as well, for us it's about customer experience and we're, we're, not, we're not in the business of just assisting a client with one particular transaction. We want to assist our client along their journey. So we can we know what it is that they want to do and sort of what we can do to help them get where they want to get to. I think that's why we work so well together. It is about trying to assist clients build wealth through property. Um, it is such a powerful tool to use, but you do have to build the right team of expertise and advice to make sure that you're doing it in the most um, successful way, but in a way that allows you to continue. Um, as opposed to reacting and doing something and finding yourself sort of boxed into a corner. Agree, agree. Excellent.